All right, folks, it's been a while, but I'm back now. Um, it's winter, as you can tell, because I'm wearing this big boiler suit. Today, I'm going to be starting on a part for LU Motorsport, which is our formerly student team at Loughborough University. The part in question is this. Well, this is a, a section of the part. So I'm going to make a test piece first, basically, out of this small bit of um, material. This is peak. It's incredibly expensive. This small piece costs like 30 or 35 pounds alone. Um, if we want to buy a sheet of this in the size of plywood that we normally get, that would cost like six or seven grand. So very expensive stuff. I haven't done any kind of machining really other than plywood. I've done a bit of nylon and a tiny bit of aluminium, but it's going to be interesting and a big learning curve to do this. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue on this piece of paper, which has got an outline of the part and the location of the four holes I'm going to drill to mount the piece of the material to the plywood using some screws. There we go. So you can see this is the actual part I've got to make. For the moment, I'm just going to be doing this corner so I don't have to use up a whole bunch of material. In terms of the operations I'm going to be doing, the first one is facing. Afterwards, a profiling 2D contour, but notice that this is only to half depth and there are multiple step overs. So the reason I'm doing multiple step overs is so I end up with a slot that, that's actually wider than the diameter of the tool. And I want to do that so that for the next operation, which is clearing out these slots, I can come down from the outside with the end mill and then work my way inwards rather than having to plunge and spiral into the material in the middle and then work outwards. After that, then do a 2D adaptive to clear out the slots. Then there is a uh, finishing pass for the walls. One of them I'm doing conventional, one of them climb milling just to see if it makes any difference in the finish or not and then a finishing pass for the floors as well. This time this is using a two flute slot drill which has got a 0.5 millimeter radius on the corner of the flutes. The drawing for this part actually specifies that these edges have at least a 0.2 millimeter radius. Then I'm gonna come in with a chamfering mill and just break the edge. So you see at this point we've got the slots milled out, a profile part done, and then the edges have been broken as well. So next I'm gonna come in and finish off the profile 2D contour with the same feeds and speeds as earlier and the same end mills earlier um, and this time it's going to leave in some tabs at various points. I then also have a finishing pass so the previous uh, tool paths leave a 025 millimeter stock to leave um, radially. I'm not sure whether this is needed or not it does increase the risk of the tabs breaking or something going wrong but we'll put it in just for this test piece if I don't need it I'll take it out later. Okie doke, that's all machined. It mostly went to plan. 
everything worked until the very last uh, operation, which was the finishing pass. Um, unfortunately, the tab snapped. I added it in the finishing pass because I thought I might need it, but when I was watching it, the, fi the finish from the roughing tool that I was using was actually pretty good. So I think in the actual thing, won't do a finishing pass and it, it will be fine. So yeah, let's, let's get this out there. See the rest of them are already snapped and they've taken a bit off the edge there. That's pretty good though. Okie doke, so that is the test part complete main learning point is don't actually need a finishing pass so I can get rid of that and maybe make the tabs a little bit bigger. But yeah, so next step is let the guys know at LV Motorsport that it went well. They're gonna send out the actual size stock which is about 300 millimeters long, I think, the actual part. Um, so much longer than that, same width, but longer. And then yeah, do that and that will come up in part two. Thank you very much.